Hi, Dr. Goldberg here, continuing our internal medicine series. Today we're talking about uh, oncological emergencies. There's six emergencies that you certainly need to be uh, familiar with in your patients that have cancer. Um, number one, METs to the brain. About 45% of our cancer patients are going to eventually develop metastatic cancer of the brain. There's about 150,000 cases a year in the U.S., Sometimes there's no symptoms, sometimes there's seizures, strokes, memory impairment, um, especially seen in lung cancer and uh, breast cancer, uh, but as well as GU cancers, uh, melanoma, uh, you know, many cancers, but especially those. Treatments with IV steroids, anticonvulsants, radiation, sometimes surgery. Once brain mets occur, uh, survival uh, median uh, rates are very low. Um, Second emergency is superior vena cava syndrome. This is usually caused by a direct compression of the superior vena cava by tumors in the upper lobes of the lung or mediastinal lymphadenopathy. Lung cancer, of course, is the most common cause, but symptoms can be shortness of breath, facial edema, headaches, upper extremity edema, cough, or neck edema, otherwise known as the collar of Stokes. Treatment, again, is with steroids, IV diuretics, radiation. Remember the TB and syphilis can also cause uh, superior vena cava syndrome. The third emergency is hypercalcemia. This is seen in metastatic uh, uh, cancer to the bone. Where there may be ectopic PTH uh, uh, called PTH-related peptide production. Um, there's ectopic vitamin D production. Symptoms for hypercalcemia, of course, are bones, uh, bone pain, uh, polyuria, moans, which is abdominal pain, stones, which is kidney stones, uh, and then psychological overtones, such as depression and anxiety. Um, treatment, especially if the calcium is over 12, includes fluids, IV Lasix, bisphosphonates, um, such as Zometa and even sometimes calcitonin certainly we use at 4 micrograms per kilogram sub Q, Q12. The fourth uh, oncological emergency that you got to know about is tumor lysis syndrome, which occurs after treatment of certain cancers, especially leukemias and lymphomas. Uh, metabolic consequences of the dying cancer cells uh, cause tumor lysis syndrome. Uh, prevention includes IV fluids, allopurinol, uh, or uricase just prior to chemotherapy. Metabolic disorders associated with TLS include hyperuricemia, especially greater than 15, with stone problems that occur in the urinary tract, azotemia, hyperphosphatemia, hypocalcemia, and either hyperkalemia or hypokalemia. So good to know about tumor lysis syndrome. The fourth and fifth uh, uh, cancer emergencies include febrile neutropenia, uh, which is covered in our infectious disease lecture series, uh, as well as malignant uh, cardiac, cardiac tamponade, tamponade, which uh, is related to, obviously, direct extension of the cancer to the pericardium. Uh, this requires, uh, obviously, emergent drainage of the uh, of pericardial effusion. Otherwise, patients will go into a shock and, and die quickly. So those are six uh, cancer emergencies. you got to know them uh, or certainly know about them. Uh, nice summary here. Thanks, Dr. Goldberg, signing off.